Hello viewers, this is Harold Linnea. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest IV, Chapters of the Chosen. In the previous video, we went to the cave to the east of here and retrieved the symbol of faith from the Cave of Betrayal. We gave it to Hank Hoffman Jr., and now he has joined the party. More importantly, he has brought along his horse, Mary Lou, and her wagon. So now we can cross this desert to the south. New a metal slime, but it flees. Yes, those things do flee rather quickly, don't they? Ooh, a sweaty yeti and a few restless armors. Desperate attack. Yes, those things like to do desperate attacks. Bang them up again. Don't be calling for backup. Not another desperate attack. Oh, that's it for the armors. Ooh, and the heel slime got taken out too. Mina reaches level 13. Alrighty. I don't know why I was looking at hair up there, but... Anyway... And to the south here... Ooh, a few crack-billed platypunks. Let's take them out before they start casting their crack spells. There's one down, and two. And the platy punks have been defeated. And this town here is the town of Bath. Welcome to Bath, Town of Baths, the perfect place for travelers to rest their achy bones. Watcha, new to this place, are ya? Well, how's about I give you the grand tour then? Sure. That's the weapon and armor shops and all that business. Don't do much trade, but they ain't bad. And here we have the item shop. Ain't got much in the way of souvenirs, though, if that's the kind of stuff you like. Oh, we're more interested in practical stuff. As you can see, up here's the graveyard. It's the burial ground of the great warrior blouted what saved the town once. And this here is the church, see? This is where the town's greatest treasure is kept. The greatest treasure, huh? Let us see this great treasure. Excuse me, Ilda, er, I mean Sister Ilda. Mind if I show these punters the old you-know-what? Of course, the goddess welcomes all folk. 
what is this sparkling armor? So this is it, the famous armor what old bladed used to wear. Apparently it's got some amazing powers or something like that. I don't know, it doesn't look too special aside from its shininess. And this here is the bath. Bath's bath, I like to call it. <laughs> Get yourselves in there and your aches and pains will soon be gone. So, uh, where was you lot planning on staying tonight? Only, I can honestly recommend this place here. It's clean and comfortable and the innkeeper's the top geezer and all. So I guess you are the innkeeper, and your wardrobe contains a leather shield. I will take that. And on the back side of that M, one of the barrels contains an antidotal herb. Let's go into this inn. They say the bath waters here make your skin clean and beautiful, but I really don't think I could get any cleaner or more beautiful. Oh dear, what's a poor girl to do? I came here with my dad, thought I'd better show him I don't ignore him all the time. That's a nice thing to do for your dad. Hello. Must have quite a thirst coming into the bub at this time in the afternoon, eh? And we will check back later. Okay. Let us check the shops now. They seem to have iron shields here. Let's check the weapon shop first. Nothing really special at the weapon shop. So you let us get a couple of iron shields. Firmina. No, sell off her scale shield. And at that leather shield. Might as well sell Herot's scale shield at the moment. Because I'm going to get him an iron shield too. Oh, thank you very much. Now let us raid the interior of the shops. I don't know, maybe I should just shut up shop and go for a soak. No customers are gonna come now, are they? Ah, uh, there's not many folk here who like to wa who be wanting to buy weapons. Not in a spa town like this. I've got more free time than a... Hold your horses. You and a customer, is you? You should speak up if you want to buy something. But we don't want to buy anything. Thank you, though. Nothing in those wardrobes. 50 gold coins in a pot there. You can't come inside here, bae. If it's shopping you want, come round t'other way. Nothing up top here. Not 
have right now, anyway. Have you seen the armor in the church already? It's amazing. There's just something not quite right about it, though. Some people say there's a ghost in that there graveyard, but I don't know if I believe it. And there is a seat of agility in that pot. Nothing in that wardrobe. O oh, plated brave knight of old, clad in armor what gleamed like gold, in battle you was knocked out cold. No, he's not good neither. I've been trying to make up a song about plated, but he's not going all that well. And what is this? A seat of strength. Here lies Sir Bladed, brave warrior and savior of Bath. Let's check out the church now. You'd like Sister Ilda to tell you about the town hero Bladed, would you? Yes, he was a very great warrior. Many years ago, when the town was attacked by monsters, it was Bladed that saw him off. He stood tall till the end, he did. It was only the very last monster what finished him off, but Bladed made sure he took the monster with him. So it's Bladed we've got to thank for the wonderful town we live in here today. Ooh, there is a mini medal in that chest of drawers in the bath area. We're up to two so far. Ah, I feel ten years younger. It was my son that brought me here. I'm a lucky fellow to have such a caring lad to look after me. What's that soldier doing over there? Travel far enough south from here and you come to a ship in town called Porth Trunnel. That's where the ships leave from to go to them foreign places you travelers are always gallivanting off to. Hmm, I took the guided tour to see the famous Bladed's armor, but it didn't look like anything special to me. In fact, it looked just like some cheap substitute. I wouldn't be surprised if someone had stolen the real armor and put that rubbish in its place. Indeed, you say. Now let us ignite our night light. Turn day to night. Alas, this star-filled night is too beautiful. It makes me want to write poetry and songs. La 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 la, Tornico with his mighty stride heads off to cross the desert wide. Oh, you're singing about Tornico, huh? So obviously he passed through here at some point. I be bladed, I be. The armor I used to wear was called the Zenithian armor. Only some rascal stole a knee and taken knee away somewhere. Oh no. You must find ye travelers and return ye to his proper resting place. We will search for it. Ah, don't look. I'm just about to get in the bath, you dirty old man. Old man? Who are you calling an old man?
Sister Elder doesn't talk about anything new. Travel far enough south from here. Yep, that's about Porth Trunnel. A bright and shiny suit of armor is on display. Anything on the bookshelves? Not on that one. How about here? My Quest for the Magical Staff, Chapter 1. My name is Roland. People call me Roland the Wandering Wandsman. I'm a magician from Lakanaba. Not that I live there anymore, of course. No, I left my hometown some time ago. I serve the royal family of Zamoxfa nowadays. These memoirs are a personal account of my hunt for a magical staff, something I've been ordered to find by the Tsar. In fact, this is such a personal account of my experiences that I must be careful not to let anyone from Zamoxfa lay eyes upon it. But was that so? Yes, later editions will feature a bit of bitching and moaning. How much do you charge to sit, stay at your ramshackle inn? Forty gold coins a night. I shall inquire elsewhere. Half expect to see jail bars on the doors or windows. And how much do you charge? Sixteen gold coins, that's more like it. And I'll check out the pub first. There was a fella here afore by the name of Taloon. He was, he was doing all right for himself, he was. That's good to hear. Oh, I, 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 ick. I'm gonna take a leaf out of his book, ick. Lay off the drink. This is just between you and me, but that innkeeper next door has given me a net ache the way he carries on. Mind you, if he didn't try it on like that, I wouldn't mind betting he wouldn't get anyone staying in that ramshackle old hole. Yes, his place does look a bit run down. He overcharges a bit. Over twice as much as this inn costs. So let us stay at this place instead. Thank you for letting us stay over. next episode, we are going to continue traveling south. We're going to find that town of Porth Trunnel. We will see if Mr. Taloon has been there. I would like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.